Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 14 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. So in this question, you can see, wow, when you look at the DC combination, it's so difficult, right? But this one is so simple. Let's look at work on it together. So first one, we look at the system. You can see we have a battery. The EMF is given, internal resistance is given. It is connected with the external resistance RS, right? All the number is given. And then in the second time, we insert another resistance RC as 0 0.1 ohms inside. And then all the batteries internal resistance RS are kept constant. Ask you how the power determine the power ratios. That means you need to use the final power divided by initial power. Agree? Yes. Now, how can you de determine the internal power? That is use the internal current square times Rs, right? Yes. So this is a power it has. Mm -hmm. The second one, how can you determine the final power for Rs? Use the final current I square times Rs, right? Now, initially, how can you get the current? So, use the EMS, EMF divided by the total resistance, the external resistance plus the initial resistance. So, it is R plus Rs, right? So, this is internal resistance plus the external resistance. And then for the picture two, how can you get the current? EMS, EMF uh, divided by the internal resistance and the external resistance need to be RS plus RC, right? Yes. Now we can see, we can list the ratio of the final power with the initial power. So we write it as there. The final power is I squared times RS. Initial power as I naught squared times RS. RS, RS cancelled. So it can be simplified as a current ratio squared. Now, how can you get a current ratio? Look at there. We use we input these two functions inside. If this is EMF, EMF cancelled, it becomes this one, right? Input the current ratio inside. You get the function, look at this one, and then you can input all the given quantities, get the answer at zero, zero point four. Thank you.